What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of Donkin Ropa 2. I believe we need to head out and, and go meet everyone for breakfast, so let's go ahead and do that. And we explored a bit of the third island last time. Let's see. Let's go. Hello there. Good morning, Hajime. Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. Get out of here, you weirdo. You really are a kind person. Hey. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little better now, right? What do you mean? You don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. It's obvious. He used Peko's death as a stepladder so he could shine even brighter and cling to an even stronger hope. What? That's stupid, dude. You don't agree? Well... But it's decided that that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progress forward. <laughs> Oops, we should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. How long does he plan to keep saying such foolish things? Okay. Everything he says is dumb. Oh, it's you, Hajime. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Right in my bedroom. It seems so. Has she been going around wa waking people up? Did she break the lock to your room too? No. That never happened. I was awakened by a knock at my door going at a 337 clapping rhythm and some shouting. That sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? Huh? But for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's make haste and head over. He's right. I should hurry up too. Haste makes paste. Good morning. I am so glad today is another clear, sunny day. Another? More like... Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? No, it might be best if I don't think about that too deeply. Maybe there's a drought. I don't know. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was... Everyone's backs, as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I want to say. For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Yeah, should it be okay? Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Fu Yu He Ko. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. Okay. Just what the hell was that? Incredibly awkward introduction. It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet I feel like that was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> that eye patch of yours. Nothing. It's nothing. There's no way that's nothing, since that eye is no longer. So you can't see out of it, huh? huh. It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However. Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Why acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Ew. Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiru died. No, not just Mahiro. Peko died because of you too. Hey! It's all your fault. Oh. Kyoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. You're right, it's all my fault. I already know that it's my fault, that those two are dead. You... Are you planning to just give us your so-what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Up, oh, he's dead. Oh, no he's not. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What, what the that? heck? Oh. Hey, don't mess with me! Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just dropped your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. Th 
this is... No! It's blood! It's blood! There's no way I jokingly yet accurately predicted his death just now. Uh, there's a word for that. S something said ironically or comedically, but yet comes true in the end. I don't remember what it, what it was. Fuyuhiko has slit his own stomach. Are you saying he cut open his own stomach? What the? What are you doing? I didn't even... I... Forgive me for such a half-assed apology. But if I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. You can barely hear him with this music being so loud. Turn it down. <laughs> that doesn't mean you should slice your stomach. <laughs> We must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. <coughs> You're right. Kazuichi, let me a hand. This is bad. Sure thing. <coughs> Stop it. I can walk there myself. <coughs> There's no way you can walk. <coughs> Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. <coughs> I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. <coughs> Who cares about that? Let's go. The others carried Fuyuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Well? Hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... Really? They voice line just that? She'd get mad, definitely mad, after she gets mad. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey, this is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her to not join us for breakfast. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about that too. I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? No? How pitiful. She's always weird. Hmm. But I'm a little worried though. She's not the one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast, soon after we all decided to return to our cottages. I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's see who's around. Okay. What? Yeah, there are people here. Okay. Sure, I'll hang out with him. Why not? Let's go find him. Over here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Fuyuhiko is so admirable. Great. Such attitude, such moxie. The title Ultimate Yakuza isn't just for show after all. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Nagito? <laughs> I actually want to beg you to spend time with me. After all, everyone else hates me. What a loser. I spent time with Nagito today, but I was a little frustrated by the things he says. I guess he and I grew a little closer today. Okay. Something he would like would probably be... Uh, present. This is quite interesting. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. That reminds me, your talent is being the ultimate lucky student, right? Man. I happen to think it's extremely boring. For someone who's lucky, you still get dragged into this mess. Doesn't that seem ironic to you? That's not it. Not at all. This is simply the beginning of hope. Actually. I was born with a unique type of hope. This current situation is foreshadowing the ultimate luck that will be arriving afterward. What do you mean? Well... If everything that's happening now seems like bad luck, it's all going to result in good luck in the end. 
As long as I exist, that'll definitely happen. <laughs> so I can't help feeling excited for what's going to happen. Seeing my beloved embodiments of hope trapped on this island and forced to kill each other so pathetically. Amazing! It's all just a preparation for the good luck that will arrive in the end. I'm going mad from excitement! What? You look confused. Isn't that obvious? He thinks the bad luck happening right now is just a preparation for good luck. What's wrong with him? Hey. Then allow me to give you an example. Let's say you end up in a car accident and are hospitalized. On its own, this would seem like bad luck, right? Duh. And? But then you meet a lovely nurse at the hospital and end up becoming a lovey-dovey happy couple. Doesn't this ending mean it was good luck? Maybe. See? You never would have met her at all if you hadn't experienced the bad luck of getting in a car accident. Isn't that right? That's always been my experience. The bigger the bad luck I experienced at first, this is exciting. the good luck that comes afterward is so big that it wipes out all that bad luck. You're right! Maybe you should kill everyone on the planet! Imagine the good luck! <laughs> Didn't I tell you? That is the talent I possess. That's why I'm called the ultimate lucky student. So that's why no matter what happens, he's always acting happy and upbeat. No matter who's killed, it's just overshadowed by good luck later. Even though it's only a little bit, I sort of understand Nagito's belief. But he's definitely messed up. It's hard to imagine that there'll be a day when we're able to really understand each other. I left Nagito and decided to go back to my room for the time being. Bow, bow, bow. I wish you would just leave me where I was. Actually, no. If I went really far out of my way to find someone, that would be a pain. Oh! What you evolve into? Oh, right. The same thing, obviously. Okay. Hmm. Who is this? Ah, the gamer? Mr. Buffman Nekomaru... Uh, mechanic. Let's go outside. Here we go. Uh-huh, princess and... Davis of Destruction, little girl. Hmm, where is everyone else, though? He's over there in the library. That's a weird place. And the third island? Let's see, Akane. Mafia. And Ibuki. Alright, let's go to the third island, then. Which is gonna be this way. Of course, now everyone's saying, Hey, what's wrong with Akane? Like, really? Are you really gonna kill her next or have her be the murderer? That's kind of a pain in the ass. How is my luck so bad? Hold on a second. Let me look at my... Let me look at my diary. Or <laughs> uh, report card. Alright, let's see here. So the first person when we got here I probably spent time with was, um, Byakuya, of course. He died. Who else did I spend a ton of time? Well, mm, I spent some time with Mihiru. She died. A lot of time with Peko. I really thought she'd be near the end. She died. Next is Mikan and Akane I'm spending a lot of time with. So we can see about that. Um, so you know what's going to happen? You know who's going to be left? It's going to be her. Her. Him. Him. Her. Him. And I'm going to be like, well, shit. So we got to get to the central island to get to the third. I probably have to go left? It's been a little while since I played, so... Of course, I could just look at the map. No, the map isn't as helpful as it seems. Shoot! Let's hope it's chronological and the next one's three. Number three. Yes! Alright. Where is everyone? Hello? Akane, I know you're around here. Oh, jeez. I'm going to be running around for a while. I haven't been here this long, like the chapter hasn't been that long, but I would not be surprised if someone dies in the next like two days. Oh, there you are. Jeez. You know, I've been running so long, I bet 
there's gonna be some poop for me to clean. Got some poop. Yeah, you got double poop. I got you. I got no business with you. Go away. Whoa, what's going on with you? You. Didn't I just say I got no business with you? There's something I need to do. I spent time today watching Akane devote herself to training. Okay, that was random. Let's see. You probably want to eat something. <laughs> You're giving this to me? You know me so well. Thanks. Hey, you. You're, like, really small. Harvey? It's Hajime. <laughs> oh, right. That's it. I was close, though. Anyway, are you even eating? I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. I see, then it's okay. Whenever I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. You can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know. Well, it's true that eating is necessary, but aren't you going a little overboard? Wait. Of course not, that's normal back home. I've been wondering about this for a while, but about your home. What? It's not that big of a deal. The only major difference is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters, and my parents don't work. What the heck? So annoying. You know how every time you get a new mom or dad, you get new siblings too? Oh, of course. That's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. That's really messed up. Then you took on part-time jobs to help support your family. <laughs> yep, I gotta feed the little ones, you know. Yo. When I had my waitressing gig, I'd sometimes steal, I mean borrow, leftovers to bring home. I got paid an hourly wage, and I also got tips too, which was pretty sweet. <laughs> and I got to keep my panties on. Ooh, what a perk. I didn't let customers motorboat me either. Of course. Huh? Why are you so mad? Because he wants to motorboat. I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your panties on so casually. I see. Sorry? I'm sorry, dolls. Apologizing now. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. This is so awkward. Yo. I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnastics coach. I wasn't really into sports, and especially not gymnastics. Huh. But no matter how much I punched and kicked him, he was pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body. Okay? He was seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> but thanks to him, I was able to move out with my siblings and find a new home. I think that's good, though. Yeah. After standing around awkwardly for a bit, I left the area. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. Almost in minutes, you could say. The doorbell. Does that mean someone's here? That's how it works, buddy. I cautiously walked toward the door and opened it, slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya! <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you, you know? Since we've already exchanged nice to meet you's. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry! Well, it's a lot better than the last time you and you broke into my room. You must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So what do you want? Um... Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Yes. See this thing? That's totally a girl's writing. A recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Titty Typhoon. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? How rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Titty Typhoon. Is that the music venue on the third island, right? That's in 30 minutes. But even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. 
but she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. Titty Typhoon. Classic Titty Typhoon. Can't believe they put that in this game. Just a typhoon of titties is what's going on. Okay. This should be a quick journey. Oh, man. Akane is so dead. Oh, boy. How far did I get with her? Look at that. That's the thing. I've never got past that far. Because last time anyone got that far, they died. So she's going to die. Unbelievable. It's a bunch of BS. It's weird. My left foot is, like, really warm. But only my left foot. The rest of my body is cold. But not my left foot. Three, yes. But before I go anywhere, oh, I keep pushing the escape key. Yeah, I knew you pooped. So give me that face. All right, to Titty Typhoon, which is right past this one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's supposed to be nighttime. Why is it so bright out here? Oh, there we go. Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery, like no matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. You don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. This too must T be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! It's nearly now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy... Oh, who cares anymore? Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... For you, Hiko, why are you... Is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. It's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. But... I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So. I'm not overdoing it. Sheesh. Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But... <gasps> it's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hiyoko definitely didn't come. How that seems to be the case. Huh? And Akande's not here too. Mm. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expressed his unease, that's what had happened. My. Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was... Ibuki, duh. Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up. Just as I thought. That's what she was going for. Well, she's the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at the music venue. All right, I'll start singing this first song with full on energy. So put your hands together for From Me To You Too. Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her music stylings. I'm gonna- hold on a sec. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna pour a drink while she's screaming. Ah! 
Does it go on forever until I skip? I wonder. Is that what her Japanese voice is supposed to be? Like, all deep? Ugh, hate playing English job! Thank you, everyone! I'm gonna get cursed! What? Such an overwhelmingly baleful residence. Even my four dark davis of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this. I too am starting to feel chills. With a title like From Me To You, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was... Creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> it's awesome! That's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Yoko. I'm glad. You came. <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... If you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, that means... You've already... Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey! Cuz he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now he's probably just pretending to be sorry, so he can try to trick us. Please wait. There's no way that's possible. No, I get why she'd think that of me. <laughs> that's right. That's why we're never gonna believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. You nasty pig boss. Don't cry! Pigs have no right to cry! You're grossing me out! Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hyoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Gross. What are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's a little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring! How much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki. Hurry up and start the next song. Roger! Thanks for writing! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Huh? There's still more. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. Stop it! <laughs> What's everyone doing here? Manomi? Jeez! Don't interfere. Aw, and I was enjoying such a fun party too. I wasn't invited to the party? <laughs> Obviously not! You'd ruin the party if you were here! What? Double gasp! Ah. But seriously, now's not the time! Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party! Why? <laughs> Akane is... Emergency. Dueling Monokuma! What? What did you say? <laughs> At this point, Akane is gonna be in danger! Please do something! Mm -hmm. It looks like my bad feeling was correct! That stupid fool! I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, for my name is it. Yes, yes. Um. Now's not the time for regret. Let's make haste. Of course! Intercourse! Yeah. Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in, group, in the group getting taken. I won't allow it. Hey, Minomi, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um... They're at the beach where we first arrived at this island. Please hurry. If you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me. We should hurry, too. Nekomaru bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry, too. Hey, everyone. But... It's been 30 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. We'll pick it up next time. So stay tuned! And thanks for watching. Bye-bye!